All right, here with Tony Tuioti, uh, talking defensive line today on the Warriors. Um, you look at on paper and you see the number of veterans and the quality of veterans are coming back. You got to figure that the defensive line is probably one of the strengths of this year's Warrior football team. Yeah, most definitely. I think with the uh, quality guys we got coming back, especially with the leadership with Vaughn Meltonga and uh, Kanye Latui Polotu and Pai Pai Falamalo, I think uh, you know you're you're kind of excited, you know, as a defensive line coach to really have guys like that that are uh, that bring the veteran leadership that you're looking for, and also. You know, these guys um, work so hard, so not only those two guys, we've got good quality depth that we're excited about this year. Yeah, talk about that, especially at defensive tackle. It seems like you guys have a ton of good defensive tackles. Yeah, you know, all our, all, all five defensive tackles returned for us. They played um, uh, a lot for us last year, and they were all very productive. And, uh, you know, we're going to need their leadership to continue to help us out this year. And uh, we have guys that have played for us on the defensive end in Pai Pai Falamalu and Liko Satele that we're also going to need to pull their experience to as well to be productive and be able to be as physical up front against the run and also be effective in uh, um, affecting the quarterback in the pass rush. Now you mentioned them before, Vaughn Miatonga and uh, Kani Alatui Pelotu. Those two guys are the anchors of the line. Now what are your expectations? Yeah, well, you know, they, they have high expectations for themselves, you know, and that's one thing that... Uh, as a coach, you uh, you just get excited about. You know, these guys love to come out and they work every day and they really set the tone not only for our defensive line but for the defensive unit as a whole. So, um, like you mentioned before, we're going to need our, our, our leadership up front, especially in the early season. Uh, we face Colorado and Washington, and those are uh, teams that uh, primarily like to run the ball. So these guys will be battle-tested early on, and we're going to need that leadership. We're going to need their, you know, both of them to be very physical. But, again, what I like most about a defensive line is the uh, the quality of depth that we have. There's some young players that I'm really excited about, too, as well, that are going to help us out this year. And Moses Samia, who's a redshirt freshman. Uh, Desmond Dean, he's an outside rusher that we also like to add on, as uh, you know, just to give us a different... Um, a different presence out there in the field. Well, we have power and Pai Pai Falamalu, and then we got speed and quickness out there with uh, uh, Desmond Dean and guys like Siaki Cravens, too, as well. So we're excited about that. Talk about the defensive ends. I'm going to have two new starters there, but no lack of uh, talent and, and experience. Right. Defensive end, again, Pai Pai Falamalu, he's, you know, he's been playing since he's a freshman. He's a junior. Uh, we're excited about him because we have him for another year or two as well. Uh, Lico Sotel is at defensive end. We also have Zach Mash that's uh, playing defensive end too as well for us. He's a hybrid defensive tackle, uh, defensive end in certain situations in our packages. So we have um, we have so many defensive linemen that we like to utilize their strength in different packages. So as a defensive line coach, that's all you can ask for. You know, you want to be able to put uh, different players on the line of scrimmage that, that create different problems for offense so we have our defensive ends in, uh, in our power def defensive ends like Pai Pai Falamalu and Zach Mash, and then we can also get our fast defensive ends in there if we need to and pass rush like Siaki Cravens and Desmond Dean. And, you know, we, we brought in guys like Tavita Wood or two as well um, and Craig Kofer. So we're excited about guys like that. Uh, we bought a couple of weeks into camp. What are the biggest improvements you think this unit's made from, from last year? Um, you know, I think just in spring alone, we saw a big improvement in terms of their effort, really running to the football. They're really uh, focused on wanting to take a next step, you know, as a group, as a whole. We have individually, we have some players that, that really stand out and make plays, uh, big plays last season for us in the game. But collectively as a group, I think these guys are so focused and, and they're so hungry to want to have a successful season. They know up front it's got to start with them, and uh, they're willing to pay the price and put the work into that so that they can get those type of results when they come play this opening season.